Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's <laughs> been a few months. Four or five. Where have we been all summer? Not working on anything. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So anyway, we have another project. It's actually a vehicle that we've had for about a year now. <laughs> now they've never seen this, right? No, they have never seen this car. So we did a that's short right. on it, but didn't publish the short. That's right. right. That's right. Okay, yeah, so you've not seen this piece of garbage. Yeah, so anyway, about a year ago, we bought this 2008 Jeep Wrangler and it. It is a jewel. That's right. We're going to show you a little more about it, but we have some ideas for it, right? Yep. And we're not sure which way to go. I think it has something to do with a, a ramp, 30 miles an hour, <laughs> and a <the> cliff. <laughs> <laughs> So we're really not sure sure of the running condition, so we're gonna see if we can get this thing running tonight. We know that it has a bad transmission, so we either have an option of, if the engine's good, replace the transmission and maybe paint it and sell it, or if the engine is not what we want it to be, then we're gonna do an LS swap. Yeah, so we're gonna be in it for another $1,000 or another $10,000. Yeah, that's right. One or the other. So we'll let you know up front, we got this sucker for $5,800. Terrible deal. <laughs> Terrible deal. Well, I mean, we, we got it in the peak used car price. Yeah, that's right. When used cars are expensive. So yeah. no, nobody's buying anything. That's so. right. So we might as well keep it and V8 swap it. Yeah. But yes, uh, in this video, we're going to see what it takes to get it running, see how good it runs, and then make a decision on what to do with it. Watch this work. And how'd you guys get this thing over here? Uh, you don't want to know, but we're going to show you. All right, we are at my house. This thing's been parked here for the last, who knows how long? A year. Probably a year. But, well, maybe a little less than a year because it's still 2023. 20, yeah, so it's been sitting here for a while and it is not going to be easy. We'll show you our setup. We've got a tow dolly. <laughs> we got a Jeep. We don't know if we have to pull the drive shaft. We're not too worried about it because the transmission's gone on this thing anyway. Yeah. So yeah. we really don't care. We just want to get to Logan's. Yeah, if we have to drag it there, we'll do it. Yeah. So anyway, we've got 100 feet of driveway here to push it down <laughs> uh, onto a tow dolly down at the end. Yeah. So, and we don't have lights either. That's right. And it's almost dark. Yeah. It'll work. <laughs> It'll work, maybe. Oh, get in there. We're going now. You sure? No. I thought we'd be a little downhill. Apparently not. And I did legs. So that didn't go to plan. It didn't go to plan, but we got it on there. We're gonna show you what happened to the driveway. We had to end up going down the hill to do it. Not the best. We're gonna get it strapped down and get it to Logan's house. Kind of spun the tower there, didn't we? How was that ride? Terrible. Oh, 
All right, they've seen how we got it here, which was not easy. Well, it's probably not ideal. <clears throat> and uh, Logan, next time he purchases a home, he's not going to purchase one up on a mountain. That's right. Either. And hopefully I've got a better tow vehicle than my Tacoma, although it done pretty good. Don't yeah. worry. Next time we buy a vehicle, we should have cyber trucks by the end. That's no, right. Vomit. They call them, what do you call them, Toyota, to, Toyotas is what they call them. Toyotas. And my truck don't even have a hitch on it, so go figure. We could have done it with that one, but it probably would have come off on the middle of, uh, what is that road? Where did we come up? 36. No. Fort Henry Drive. Yeah, Fort Henry Drive. It's also 36. It has still been there on the, that road, so. Yeah, but the Tacoma got it here, done well, still got a transmission in it. Yeah. And here's the condition of it. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad in the engine bay. Paint could look better, but you know, we're gonna have to paint it regardless like we do every vehicle that we get. This? That's supposed to be there. Does this look appealing? That's factory wiring. We're gonna see what that's for and yank it out if we can. And the biggest thing though is, does this engine run and how good does it run? I know the battery's dead. I love a good Chrysler. To be determined. Oh, they don't know how many miles on this sucker. Let's tell 700,000? No. Is it a more appropriate, and it sounds more when you say a quarter of a million? Quarter million miles on it. <laughs> so it's low mileage at 240,000. Yeah. Hey, man, it's a Jeep. It ought to last uh, at least another 10,000 miles. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're going to see if we can get us a battery on here or a charger or something to get this thing started. Do you have the key? Yep. Good. All right, so we're going to try to do a charger. We're going to try to do a jump starter we've got a brand new battery right over there okay it'll fit let's do it give me a 10 millimeter please this battery is made for this cheap this is a this is a uh, diamond star hey what happened to our last project by the way the talon uh the talon is outside rest its soul um barely starts now needs paint yeah it's still in the same condition it was last time we, yeah. you guys. we so, haven't touched it so it does run and drive yeah, kind of. I moved it last weekend. And it Logan, ran fine. Logan started, it ran fine. We get over here and now it will not run right. <laughs> so we're taking the battery off it and then we're going to scrap it. <laughs> I need another 10 about that long extension. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Perfect. I got you. <laughs> electric, electric extension. Uh, let's see. I got it. Yep, we're on. <laughs> Is that long enough? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's going to break. That is gonna break. I know. It's getting loose. Oh. <laughs> Put a little pocket on it. Pull that wire up out of right there. Lock you up. Put in this brand new Never Star. <laughs> that was a good battery a year ago. All right, Logan, fire this puppy up so it can leak oil. I'm telling you, they're open the door. This thing's gonna chase mosquitoes out from here to Knoxville. No way, this thing's not going to smoke. I just want you to know that it's actually 248,418 miles. Oh, we were a little bit off. He never checked the oil either. No. That's right, we don't check oil. Oh, sounds like a jewel. This is already happening again. <laughs> it was a little loud. It's all cracked in the Not like I might need a muffler, you reckon? Don't worry, we got a welder. It definitely needs a muffler. Huh? Kids, Bob. We're going to put a cherry bomb on it. We better put something on it. I'm about to get carbon dioxide. Got a little oil smoke up here. Nice smoke. A little bit of fuel. A little bit of fuel smoke. A little bit of oil smoke up here. Cut it. I'm on regular form right now. What are you looking at? I'm trying to see what kind of transmissions will fit this thing. <laughs> Change the plans? Maybe. I mean, I don't think we've decided yet, but the engine does start right up. It hasn't been started in 
I don't, five, I don't know. six months? Seven no, months? more than that, for sure. I would say closer to a year. Really? Has it been that long? Wouldn't you think? What? Has it been starting close to a year? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it started right up. <laughs> <laughs> started up. And uh sounded pretty good. So we're kind of leaning that route, but it's kind of hard to find a transmission for it. Yep. All right. So you were doing some investigating. I was doing a little investigating. Um, just curious to see where the coolant level was. So I took the cap off of the, the radiator. And as you can see, there is a hard plastic top, which is a little deceiving. But if you look down in here, there's absolutely no coolant in there. It says dry as a chip. So I proceeded over here to the overflow reservoir when I found uh, it has more oil in it than the engine. I bet somebody just thought that it needed some overflow oil. So if you rake your hand in here, you'll you'll get a little bit of a dose of it there. That's all. Maybe somebody thought that's where the oil went. I can yeah. guarantee that. All right, guys. Kind of a short video. <laughs> it was a good night's work. <laughs> <laughs> Not much done in this video, but we got a lot of decisions to make. We don't know what. If we want to go with the V8? Yeah, I think we ruled out one option. That was just replacing the transmission, right? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. we found too much oil uh, to be comfortable with this engine and the coolant. Yeah. So, yeah, we could do V8. We could do another 3.8 uh, with a transmission. Diesel swap. Diesel swap. 4BT. <laughs> More money. That's all I say. Just put a bunch of money into it and never get your money back. So that's the question. Is it worth doing anything to it all or do you unload it? Yeah, let us, guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, we always look at the comments, so make a lot of them. <laughs> but I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. If you like our content, you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. See ya!